Here we are outside Chelmsford Magistrates Court on the 10th. It is now coming up to about quarter to one. I've got some documents that I need to enter into the court record uh, before we go ahead. I deliberately left these here till the, or, or waited till the very last moment um, to enter these. So one is the letter to Kenneth Clark, originally notifying of the affidavit. The second one is the document entitled V5, which is proof of, uh, not proof of ownership, but proof of registered keeper, which is different than ownership. We also have a schedule here which shows that the insurance certificate in question that I didn't have at the time uh, is valid until April, sorry, 28th of April 2013. Mm -hmm. So there's a technical point there that we'd like to bring up. Uh, in addition, there is a document which is number 13, which is uh, called uh, Necessity or Self-Defense. That's also being uh, entered to, um, to uh, head off charge number 3. And there's one man inside, oh, uh, sorry, uh, number 5, which basically says the Crown is unfit to proceed. Uh, and this is the uh, assentios of the canon law of the High Synod of the Church of England. Uh, pledging allegiance to the Holy Roman Catholic Church. So this is showing an association between the Crown, which manifests itself as an Anglican or Church of England independent religious authority, is nothing other than a, a satellite of the, uh, of the uh, Vatican. And that is number six, which is a confirmation of that from the Church of England High Synod canonical uh, assents and bidding prayers. Okay, that's about it. We'll catch you on the uh, next update.